and we're back on the bike again. While well, standing by that bench, I had my bike put on there and somehow I was eating and somehow some people walked up to me to the bench and they sat down on there. I were two junkies because they were busy with some weed. And I left actually before they started smoking it. I hate the smell of weed. I hate the smell of smoking too, by the way, but the smell of weed is really well, I'm getting a headache from it, so not gonna wait. I have to continue anyway, so what I had man. But I would not have stood there, I would have maybe stayed a little bit longer. And there was no social distancing, normally one and a half meters, but that was not practiced by these people. I don't know what I have, would have done when I was sitting on the couch maybe, or the bench. Maybe they would have just sat beside me. I don't know. Making eye contact with the truck driver because he was well through the red light, and I don't want to have the risk <laughs> being in front of him and then he uh, steps on the gas again. It would be flat like a pancake and ruin my weekend, probably the rest of my life. But made eye contact. I knew he saw me. He also saw the bike rider in front of me, so nothing to be actually worried about. But it's something you have to keep in mind. Don't expect people to see you. Maybe it would have been safer in hindsight to go behind the truck. Because, well, when I was past the truck, I could not see to the right if there was traffic coming. Maybe cars or a bike or something. So in hindsight, maybe better idea to go behind the truck or just wait, maybe. But first of all, the truck should not have been there in the position it was. Error by the truck driver, probably. On the other hand, the truck driver could not cross the, over, the, over the crossing because there was traffic waiting, so then he would have blocked the crossing.
And I do have to say, it's quite a busy, busy day in the city. There's still a lockdown, it's still even clock. It's from 9 till 4.30. 9 in the evening, 4.30 at night. <coughs> and... You wouldn't expect it to... If you look outside, people are walking. Ah, nice flowers. That's blossoming out of the ground. It's the end of the February, it's not even... Winter time's not even over and... All kinds of flowers are already popping up. Let's go to the right and ignore the, the bike light or the traffic light because, well, it's free to go here. At least I think it's free. It's allowed, as you know, free. It was always free, but it should be allowed. Let's go over this. Steep bridge. Let's actually move and speed up a little to make it to the top. Could have been a well different bridge. The on ramp could have been a little bit more less steep. Especially the last part is steep. So you lengthen the off on ramp and the off ramp. It's easier to get on and off. This side there's not that much room for an on and off ramp, but on the part where I just came from, there is room enough, I think. Three big dogs, one on a leash, and the rest is running freely around. Are running around freely. Let's take a left right turn here. Don't go on the bike lane, just stay on the main road. Let's see where we end up. Oh, the back side of IKEA. This is Bauhaus. Bauhaus is a home improvement center. IKEA is home decoration center, home decorating center. All kinds of furniture and all kinds of knickknacks, kitchens, rugs, chairs lights, whatever you want to have, it's probably available there. And also the Swedish meatballs. Looks like this is the access road to a loading dock. I'm actually not allowed to go here, so I have to turn. Let's go this way. Let's take a left here. Pets Place, Jesk, Gosens, not sure what that is. Boerenbond. Pets Place, it says it's for pets, food, and probably you can get little pets. Jesk is furniture. Compton is also furniture, no furniture. 
uh, wallpaper, paint probably, rugs, carpet, wood flooring, whatever you want, whatever you think you need. Let's go that way again. So, back side of the media mark should be able to go through here. Yes, media mark, media mark, electronics, TVs, computers vacuum cleaners, whatever you want to have, coffee, coffee machines. Shops are actually open for only takeaway and for repairs. Media Mart is, for instance, open where you order something online and then you can pick it up at the, at the store yourself. Go over this crossing. This T section, no lights on there, so I have to figure it out for myself. Let's break here and see traffic from that way, so I have to wait. Not much traffic from the right, but I have to look again when I cross, because there could be traffic again. this car let's cross the road and go this way cool blue shop subway I don't know it's visible I will point the camera to it cool blue Japanese and grill restaurant all you can eat So when you pay, you can eat all you want. I actually have to say all you can eat now. All you can eat it. It's a lot in your lifetime. But that's not what I they meant, of course. They meant all you can eat in a time span of probably three hours. Well, back over another bridge. And I do have a headwind. Actually, sand is blowing over the bike lane. <laughs> I'm over the Ames Canal, by the way. A lot of car noise. Hope you can hear me. And if not, I do have to shout. Shout out. That's again coast down. I'm not cycling. By the end, I'm gonna get down. I have to down at the crossing. I have to brake. As I'm gaining speed, let's go here. We have the free access for the people who want to go to the right and don't block them. I have to brake. One o'clock and maybe twelve o'clock now, there's a balcony with some empty crates of beer. Maybe four, I can see. I have toch Jan Heineken and some other brand. That's where the bike is in the five fluorescent yellow jacket. Well, at one o'clock above her.
and we have a green light so let's continue As she ended up at the Petrus Camper single, just overtaken by a fast man on a electrical powered bicycle. Well, not that fast, if she can keep up with him I want to. But he does have a little bit easier to, to pedal, as she's not pedaling very fast at all, and I am, just to keep up with him. It's a busy Friday afternoon, traffic all the way, you can see traffic, cars, cars and other cars and more cars. Actually let's have a look, it's 10, 10 minutes or so, 12 minutes before 3 in the afternoon. It should not have been very busy here, but well, it is. you run the traffic light and get onto the area here keeping to the right and throw in another right and lo and behold in the distance again some block, roadblock. Snow is gone, everybody's planning again to get outside and, and repair the road and do whatever they want. Well, sidewalk action again. Dead end again. Oh, let's go straight. Now that's not going to happen. Then I may be able to go around this. Maybe an access road from the other side. No such luck. So thought it would be an easy way to get out, but that's not the case. 